Hi guys, ignore my kitchen counter. We have everything pushed to the side because I am unboxing something that I am so excited to show you guys. Check this out. We got an espresso. I'm so excited to unbox this. Okay guys, we are back. The coffee bar is set up. Our espresso seems ready to go. We're gonna open her up. Ooh. So excited. Okay guys, we're gonna be making a hazelnut truffle mocha dupe for my boyfriend. So let's Okay, our coffee is done. It's going in his cup. But what we needed was, so we're making this first. We need the ripple chocolate milk. You're gonna need a cup of it. Ooh, beautiful. I will put the recipe and calories down below for my babes who are counting calories because same sister, same. So many things have changed on the weight loss journey, but that is for another vlog, babes. So there she is. Okay, so we're gonna do the hazelnut sugar-free syrup. Pumps of hazelnut sugar-free syrup, if you guys didn't know. Four pumps is the two tablespoon serving of this. So I'm gonna give them four pumps. Boom. I'm gonna drop his coffee in. Ooh, babe, that sounds really good. And to fake a soft top, we are going to do it with the sweet cream. Actually, we have heavy cream too. Let's do heavy cream. We're gonna use heavy cream. I'm gonna make him a soft top. Boom. Ew. Did you see that? No. <laughs> He's like, shut up. And we're gonna make it cold, because the drink usually comes with the cold foam, even when it's hot. So, it's blue, guys. It lit up blue. That means it's making us cold foam. Don't worry, guys. We're gonna give you our impressions after we're done. We just need to make our coffees first, okay? All right, let's pour in his little frock milk. Okay, yours looks pretty good. Okay guys, we're gonna make mine. All right babes, so we need a tablespoon of the cookie butter. And it said to put it in there and pour the espresso over it, but to be honest guys, I'm just gonna leave the spoon on. I don't know what the heck else to do. We're gonna open up, baby. It sticks the paws back there themselves. Love that for us. Okay. Guys. Oh my god, that smells amazing, you guys. Like words. Oh, so stinging good. Alright, guys, time to throw in some ice. So beautiful. You cannot tell me that doesn't look good. Like, oh my god, y'all. Okay, babes, let's try this coffee out. Look at that. Oh, she's beautiful. Give her a good mix and mix. Super good. Feel like it could use a little bit more sweetness to it. So I'm gonna use my Truvia with vanilla and it's really good. I love this stuff. Mmm, that's it. So stinking good. I actually grabbed some of the cookies that go with cookie butter. Like it's the brand Biscoff. I don't think I've ever had these before. And I took a bite, and these are delicious. Like, mmm. 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 Mm. Guys, so your morning coffee would be about 155 calories. It's about 70 calories from the milk and whatever amount of calories, half of 170 from this. I think 85 or something like that. So in total, your coffee would be like 155 calories. Honey, that is not bad to have like a decadent coffee shop made coffee. Something that you would go to a coffee shop and purchase made at home, honey, for the cheap. Number one, for number two, super low calorie. Like, I love that. I'm super excited to add this into my coffee morning routine. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed unboxing this with me. I had so much fun unboxing it. As you guys can tell, I was super excited to get my espresso. 
So don't worry, we will have more Nespresso recipes coming up soon. Not gonna front, it is two o'clock. I haven't had a sip of this water, haven't finished my coffee. Just got back from Walmart, gonna give you guys a really rapid fire haul. So we got these big humongous thing of pickled jalapenos. We love jalapenos. <laughs> we love jalapenos in this household, so um, big thing and also two tablespoons is zero calories so who doesn't love that jalapenos have so much flavor and they're really delicious next thing we picked up was some cool whip um and we got the extra creamy one love this stuff guys for two tablespoons it's 30 calories i mainly picked this up though for like a sweet treat kind of vibe i have actually always loved whipped cream and cool whip and i think um now having to go back and count my calories and really thinking about the things i'm eating like there are certain foods that i used to love eating that were also low calorie and i just never put two and two together like i freaking love cool whip i cannot wait to put this back into my diet because it's bomb.com probably not the most healthy for you gonna be real um but it's delicious and whenever i want like a little sweet something something extra this will be a good add-on obviously because i live here we had to get an 18 pack of eggs i mean would it even be my house without an 18 pack of eggs in the fridge yeah probably not so next we picked up strawberries i love strawberries we are definitely going to be through this in a week i'm gonna wash them all cut the tops off have them ready and prepped in the fridge for us already because i can eat strawberries by the pound guys we picked up this really cute bag of sweet potatoes um i just was like dang like one is 100 calories and we can make little baked sweet potatoes whenever we feel like this week i love a good baked sweet potato and salmon that is literally one of my favorite recipes on the entire face of the earth so we can definitely have that all of the time it's really delicious next we picked up some red onions because i'm going to be making pickled red onions today my boyfriend picked up his favorite little flosser thing oh I picked up now these honey these are a moment picked up some random little makeup items I don't know I was feeling myself so I picked up these kiss lashes in pompadour it's the so is be full bouncy volume and curl I'm gonna be so real I was fully influenced into buying these if you guys watch my fam I love her she is so young but so wise for her age and she just has so much positive fun energy on her channel she just moved to New York and she's been saying what lashes she wears finally because i feel like she never said it in her videos and i just feel like these lashes have made her eyes look so stinking good whenever she has them on i mean her makeup her face just looks she looks snatched it's like she went and got like a little fox eye okay but it's just the lashes because when she takes the lashes off she looks like her normal self which is still beautiful of course but these lashes give her that extra every day and i want that you know as well okay guys i picked up the nyx can't stop won't stop mattifying power i mattifying powder enrich because i want to use this as a contour um and i picked up the l'oreal true match lumi glow lotion because i want a glow like a cream a glow kind of product okay moving along we picked up two of these spray oils we picked up an extra virgin olive oil and a vegetable oil we picked up a ton of these drink things so guys we picked up ones that are actually low calorie which i'm really excited about each one of these packs has 30 servings in them and this one the pink lemonade has 10 calories for half a pack which would be 20 calories if i wanted the whole pack we've got the iced tea with peach this one is five calories for a half a pack we've got strawberry lemonade five calories for half a pack and we've got raspberry lemonade which again is five calories for half a pack so i'm really excited we grabbed all of those next we picked up a chick-fil-a polynesian sauce because it's a must in our household we picked up some garlic parmesan popcorn seasoning we, we have a popcorn maker so we love to make popcorn we picked up some um i'm not gonna say it in spanish it's beef bullion guys i'm working on my spanish but it's embarrassing to me like i can't say anything in spanish i i mean i can but i get so embarrassed that i just don't does that make sense 
Um, and my boyfriend makes fun of me about it all the time because I really do get so shy when I speak in Spanish. But then when I speak in Spanish to him or like his family, they always say I'm doing a good job, but I just get so embarrassed about it. It's like ridiculous. So we picked up beef bullion. <laughs> All right, we picked up some chipotles in adobo sauce and some chipotle sauce. We picked these up because I wanna go ahead and make a dupe of the chipotle vinaigrette. That is literally my favorite, like, favorite dressing on the like entire face of the earth. It is so delicious. If you haven't tried it, please try it. But also understand that that little dinky cup they give you is 270 calories. And I don't mean to keep harping on calories, but obviously they are really apparent in my mind because I have to be counting calories now per my doctor. So um, they're very apparent on my mind right now when I'm thinking of what I wanna eat. And we got Chipotle last night and I was like, I just cannot bring myself to waste 270 calories on a dressing when I'm actually hungry and I wanna have dessert and I also wanna have a glass of wine and I still wanna meet my calories and like I can have my little dessert and a glass of wine and still come in below my calorie count for the day. Why the heck would I have that dressing? So I just didn't, but I know how to make one. So I'm gonna show you guys my recipe and I'm gonna make it for you guys. It'll be in an upcoming video. I don't know which one yet, so sorry. Um, <laughs> next, we picked up this brown sugar thick cut bacon for when we're in the mood for a little bacon in this house. We picked up some QP mayo. Guys, QP mayo is a necessity. I don't even like mayo. I honestly think mayo is kind of disgusting, but I love to make tuna and QP mayo in your tuna I mean, if you haven't tried it, this is your notice to try it because it's mother fucking delicious. And you can get it at Walmart, so get your QP mayo. Or your local, local Asian grocery, which is probably the better place to buy it because support local business. But guys, next we got some basmati rice. I love basmati rice, I've been craving basmati rice. So we're actually gonna cook up some in a minute to go with our salad, but yeah. I Mm, I love me some basmati rice. The texture of basmati rice is different. It's so good. I love rice. I'm like a rice connoisseur, if you will. Um, and I just feel like I know the different textures and tastes of rice, and basmati is my hands down favorite. We picked up some baby carrots because we have an absurd amount of ranch in this house, and we have celery sticks, so we want a lot of sticky snacks. We picked up some instant white rice because we can't live without the instant in this house. We also picked up some minute brown rice because we can't live without minute rice in this house. Um, we just love to cook a quick dinner. We got some funnels because you always need funnels. We got some Minute Maid orange juice. That's my boyfriend's orange juice. Um, I picked up some of Mike's hot honey. I freaking love this hot honey. Hot honey is so delicious. It's such a good condiment. Love to put it on avocado toast. I actually like to put this in teas when I'm feeling a little under the weather, like orange spice tea with the Mike's hot honey. Oh, girl. And it will have your nose running because it's got a little spice up in there, but it also like soothes your throat because it's still honey. It's just so delicious. I love hot honey. I'm obsessed with it. Um, and then my boyfriend found himself some fun little products. He found the Old Spice Hair Moisturizer, Wavy and Curly with Aloe and Avocado. This is cute. Okay, babe. Uh, and... Oh, he got himself like a deep conditioner. Okay, papa. Okay, so Old Spice coming for the Wavy and Curly gentleman. Um, and then he got the Leave-In Conditioner. Super cute. Okay, I, if he likes it, I will let you guys know because my boyfriend has really nice, beautiful, like, wavy curls and he's become obsessed with growing them out and I think it's the cutest thing ever. So if he likes that product, I'll let you know. Maybe some of your booze can try it or some of you ladies can try it too. To be honest, the only reason why I think Old Spice is really for gentlemen is that scent is like super strong and it doesn't compliment me, but some women, their bodies like pheromones work with that kind of scent. So I mean, hey, <laughs> give it a try. You know what I'm saying? If you do good with like woodsy, um, kind of musk, all those kind of things in your perfumes, like. It might make your house smell bomb.com. It might mix with your body's chemistry and make it smell okay. Just saying, just a tip. Anyways, I'm gonna put all this away, cook us some lunch. We gonna eat, y'all. Okay, guys, another tip with your salmon, especially if you're making it in the air fryer, after you have washed it, clean it off and dry it, right? So after you've rinsed it, dry it with a paper towel. I know it sounds weird, but it makes your salmon like so much crispier and more delicious. And I need oil on the bottom. All right guys, this is about the best angle we're gonna get. So, take these guys and pop them in your air fryer. Hopefully you guys can see. 
here's what you're putting on your salmon today. We're gonna put a little bit of olive oil. We're gonna put some Cajun seasoning. We're gonna put some seasoned salt, garlic powder, and onion powder. Guys, when you're cooking low calorie, you need to make the flavor yourself, right? So seasoning is your best friend. I'm gonna put the olive oil on, rub it on in good. We're gonna flip them and do the other side. I don't know, I feel like a lot of times when people are trying to lose weight, they're so scared of oil, but bro, like, <laughs> it tastes delicious, and it really doesn't add that much calories, so chill. So once you have rubbed that on, I don't have it on both hands, I'm a, I'm a pro. Put a little onion powder, ooh, ooh. boom, a little seasoned salt. Because I know that Cajun seasoning has a little bit of salt in it, we're not putting a ton of the seasoned salt, but garlic seasoning, a hefty dose, if you will, and the Cajun seasoning. And guys, don't be shy with the Cajun, okay? Also, just recognize that these Ikea uh, shakers don't let out very much, so I'm gonna be shaking for a while. <laughs> but they are aesthetically pleasing, and isn't that what counts, friends? Isn't that what counts? So just make sure you've gotten it, like, all over it, pat it in there, good. We're going for a little bit of that blackened vibe, if you will, because the salmon is the big star of this meal, okay guys? Boom. All right, we're gonna pop this in our air fryer and I will bring you guys back when we're assembling our little lunch. Here is our beautiful little lunch. I mean, that's salmon. Ooh. There's Babe's plate. We do actually have matching water bottles. I got him his for Valentine's Day after I got mine. I'll link them down below. We got them from Amazon and they're amazing. And then we are going to split this Alani New Energy. This is the Addison Ray one, Berry Pop. I just thought the flavor looked fun, so we're gonna split this one. And we're gonna enjoy our delicious lunch. I also put some Lime on the side. We're gonna cut this and like squeeze it on top. Yeah. Ooh, look at that color. This is like really pretty. Not needing a toddler. I just wanna taste the salmon really quick and give you guys like a first impression. Mmm. Yeah. How bomb. Try it. Tell me what you think. That's fire. Mmm. Oh damn. Ooh. Oh, how it just like comes off. It's got like a little crust, huh? It's kinda got like a little golden color. Ooh. That's good. Mmm. That's good. Mmm. The aroma is very, very soft. What do you think, babe? Mm. Wow. Is it bomb? Mm-hmm. So good. Okay. I want to try berry pop too. Oh my god. That is good. <laughs> We're gonna eat. We're gonna eat. <laughs> oh. mm. One more good. impression. The berry pop. The berry pop. And then we can go eat. That salmon is really freaking good. Okay. Wow. That's actually really good. That's really good. Usually with the Lani New, I can say like what candy or what treat it tastes like. But this one. Jolly Rancher. It's just. Do you say Jolly Rancher? Mm -hmm. What is it? Or pink starburst. Pink starburst. Pink starburst. Yes, babe. Yeah. Pink starburst. Okay, it tastes like a pink starburst if you're curious. Anyways, guys, I am starving. He is starving. This food is amazing. We're gonna go eat. See you later. <laughs>